Hey guys, in the past I've experimented with some antennas that were basically didn't require ground plane. So a vertical antenna, but you know, similar like a vertical dipole. Um, I, I came up with an idea for an antenna called a Coastal 20 and, uh, and, and kind of refined that and had some success with that. My thought pattern on that were basically random wire lengths, you know, the 17, uh, five on the upper and then the three feet on the bottom with that. Kind of made it a uh, overall random, two random wire lengths. If you're not familiar with random wire lengths, what you're trying to do is find a, a length that's not resonant on a frequency or its multiples that you could get the feed point impedance down close enough to tune it and make it multi-band. Um, like I said, with this Coastal 20, I kind of played around with that. Started with a 9 to 1 on un, kind of moved over to the 4 to 1 on that. So if you've built those, give that one a try. Uh, but I want to do something similar today. I thought what I would do is a an off-center fed vertical that would be 29 feet. Now, 29 feet is another, um, it's, it's 8.8 .8 meters. That's another length that's, that's found in the random wire antenna family of lengths. And what I would do is that would be the upper part. Uh, the upper part would be 25. Now, 25, 7.6 meters, is the length of the driven element of the Ribikoff antenna, if you're familiar with the Ribikoff. So what I want to do is take that length put four feet on the bottom, which is about 1.22 meters, would bring the overall length to the to, to 29 feet or 8.8 .8 meters. So I know I'm rambling, but stay with me. What I'm going to do is basically make an off-center fed vertical for a situation like where I'm at today. I'm at Ocean View in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm at the beach here. Uh, we, we call this the OV local-wise, but what, where I'm at, this is where the Chesapeake Bay feeds out into the Atlantic Ocean, so that's why it's called Ocean View. That's really the Chesapeake Bay here in front of me. But what I want to do, is the thought pattern of this, is I want an antenna that I can sit by the seaside and not need a ground plane. So I'm going to build this 29-foot off-center fed vertical using a 4-to-1 ballon, not an un, -un a ballon, kind of like you would with a with a Wyndham antenna or an off-center fed dipole. I'm going to do something similar to that using these lengths and get this antenna up in the air. Stick around. Okay, here we go. Here's the antenna. Um, that's the Chesapeake Bay leading out to the Atlantic over there. Um, what I do when I use this, uh, this is the DX Commander uh, 10 meter expedition pole. I drive a piece of PVC, uh, that's probably about, uh, not quite, about three quarters of a meter or two, two and a half feet, keeping score at home. Drive that into the sand and, um, and then put the, uh, take the bottom part off the DX Commander pole and then uh, slide it on. What I've done, 22 gauge wire all the way at the top with electrical tape about every meter or so, meter and a half, taped to the pole. Now, People always ask me, how do you get the ballon? It's not pretty, but there you go. There's my four to one ballon on the uh, tape to the pole with electrical tape. And then there's the lower element that's taped. As you can see, there's a close up of it taped at the bottom here. So um, it's a good uh, meter, meter and a half off of the uh, top of this little dune area I'm at here. Um, I do have a choke, this is the chameleon 50 foot coax with their built in choke edit, and I've got it um, down around and down to the Jeep. So let's get in and uh, hook everything up and get on the air. And here inside the Jeep, I'm using my uh, G90, and uh, with that, my uh, 20 amp hour LiPo 4 battery. So, what I'm going to do now is uh, check SWR and see if this is close enough to get a Get the, the whole idea of this antenna is get the SWR close enough to let the uh, automatic antenna tuner, the ATU inside this uh, radio, uh, do the rest and we get a, uh, a match and can get on the air. Okay, checking SWR, 40 meters was through the roof. Um, 20 got better. 20 was down, get, getting down around 2, um, 17 as well, 2, two, two to 3 to 1. Um, 
15 was hovering in that area as well. 12 got up a little bit higher, over three to one, between three to one and four to one, but uh, still something I could use the uh, the tuner, the ATU, and, and tune this thing. And 10 meters was like like the others. Uh, they, they was bouncing around, a little sporadic, but 10 meters there was somewhere, I would say, around two to one. So as I said, the whole idea of this thing is to use the uh, antenna tuner uh, to get a good tune. And I'm right here by the by the sea, so should be able to really work the low takeoff angle and work some DX. As I, I didn't show this earlier, this is the 22-gauge uh, uh, wire that I'm using. Got this on Amazon. But um, there you go. With the LDG 4 to 1, I'm using an LDG 4 to 1 Ballon. Um, it's all up in the air. Let's uh, Let's go see what we can do. Yes, your number one, zero, zero, one. Thank you, 73. Kilo four, Oscar, golf, Oscar. Kilo four, Oscar, golf, Oscar. Coast to win, on the win. You're five and seven. Roger, Roger, you're 5'5". Five, five. I'm on the beach in uh, Norfolk, Virginia with a uh, vertical, off-center fed vertical there. Uh, you're sounding good, though. 5'5". Five, five. Yes, David, I think we've worked before. So good to get you here. I'm sitting here portable, and uh, I just came over to uh, 15 meters there and, and heard your call there. Thank you so much for picking me up. Thank you so much, my friend. 73. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar, 59 Ocean Victor. QSL, you're 59002. 002, number 2, correct. QSL, thank you. 73. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Oscar, Germany, Oscar. Kilo 4, uh, Oscar, Germany, Oscar. 59, Zulu Hotel. Thank you, you're 59003. Uh, thank you, Walt. Thank you, Walt. Thank you for 5-7. You go a little down there, but 5-4, uh, I can give you. And uh, thank you for 5-7 for your place. 73, have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you so much. 73. Yes, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. The name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. You're 5'7 here. I'm portable 20 watts on the beach in Virginia. Yeah, hello, Walt. Uh, K4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Well, very good with the 20 watts. You're not doing bad at all. Are you 5 and 4? 5 and 4, Walt. My name is Roy. QSL, you're five eight here as well. I'm portable in Virginia on the beach here, just twenty watts. Unbelievable, twenty watts portable. Yeah, I have a, a vertical wire in the air here, uh, right by the ocean and uh, or the Chesapeake Bay here, just twenty watts. Uh, your signal is lovely, lovely signal, five eight as well. Oh, amazing, fantastic, oh, very, very good. Your board really is 5659 with a 20 watt vertical, is unbelievable. How is my report, oh, Walter? Very good audio, very good audio. Peaking 5958 five to 59, sounding very good. 
Oh, very good, very good. I'm surprised. Thank you, thank you, Walter, uh, for calling me. Enjoy the money, enjoy the coffee. My best for 73. Kilo 4, Ontario Golf, Ontario. I have two LSR. Arrivederci. Arrivederci, my friend. 73. Hello, CQ. Hello, CQ. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf. Oscar calling CQ, CQ. K4OGO calling CQ, CQ. Anyone, anyone. Kilo Echo 8, Victor Romeo Whiskey. Hey, thanks for coming back to me. First call I've, I've gotten on the CQ today. Thanks so much. Hey, that's awesome. Just 20 watts here, portable by the sea. Uh, 20 watts with a, a vertical wire in the air there. Back to you. How many watts did you say you were going? Michigan, and uh, yeah, I just bumped my power up a little bit. I was at, uh, I was only at one watt when I answered your call. Yeah, you were about a 5.152, and you're up to about a 5.5 now, but I, I heard you when you answered the call there. Yeah, I'm at uh, 10 watts now, so Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar Golf. How are you doing this morning? Kilo 4, Oscar Germany, Oscar, correct? QSL, QSL, you're 5-7, number 4, 0 4 Oh, yeah, but what is the number? Zero, zero, seven? Zero, zero, four. Zero, zero, four. Thank you, 73. Charlie Ford, Delta X-ray, contact. Lima Yankee 5 Alpha. Lima Yankee 5 Alpha. Take your time. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, five nine as well. The name here is Walt in Virginia. Twenty watts. Thank you. Thank you. Five element Thanks for Thank you. Seventy three. QSL. You're five seven into Virginia as well. The name is Walt. Bye bye. Bye bye. Seventy three. Well, that's what I call a success. <laughs> I'm a little surprised how well it worked, actually. Uh, worked the X. I worked uh, everything from 10 to 40. 40, uh, I got on and uh, messed around on 40 for a bit. Um, not really a lot happening here. I, I did. I, I, I looked on the POTA uh, spot and went after a POTA station there. It was really hard, uh, really in the in the weeds there. So it didn't really perform. One thing I didn't show, I, I actually I went down, I went to 80 and it tuned 80, it tuned for 80. So uh, could possibly use it there. I didn't hear anything on 80. Um, called CQ 17 for a little bit, made a contact or two. Um, a lot of fun, man. I had a good time playing with this antenna. Oh, cool antenna. And like I said, what I really wanted to do is experiment with something um, like this situation right here. I'm not like right down on the beach where I could put a ground plane. I'm actually up on a dune here, up on a dune, and I just wanted something that uh, wouldn't require a ground plane, and, uh, and and I could put a vertical up, being next to the salt water with a vertical there. So I kind of like to play around with different things. This one worked, uh, and uh, as you can see, the, the idea was uh, not to have a resident antenna on every band. It was just to get it down close enough to tune. And it was actually, it was well, I was surprised 40 even tuned. I, it, it, but the G90, it, it just roofs off at uh, 4 to 1, and that's what it was showing. I'm sure it was higher than that, the SWR, but uh, hey, it tuned it, and it tuned it well. Loved working the X. It was a contest going on there in, the, um, in, in Holland, so that could go all the way. I, I was getting Dutch stations on every band from 20 to 10, and that's kind of why I, I jumped around. I'm really loving 12 meters right now. 12 meters is, uh, is kicking butt.
butt, and it's a fun band to get on and uh, and have a good time. But uh, like I said, I want to try this. I'm going to actually take it down and wrap those wires around that ballon and keep it uh, kind of intact because I want to try it again in a different location and see how it does in a different time with different conditions. But um, today, this was excellent. I really had a good time. If you like experimenting with antennas and uh, and and playing HF, I'm all about HF and uh, and 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 low power HF for that. But but uh, if you're into that. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends.